for many wars, including much talk about the removal of Confederate monuments across the country. KFDM's Jessica Crawford reports a Jefferson County commissioner is standing firm on his stance of preserving monuments, as well as a cemetery which holds soldiers from many wars, including the Civil War. The Sabine Pass Cemetery, the final resting place for early Jefferson County residents and veterans of many wars, including the Civil War. I want my grandson to see the evidence, not just read about it in a book. Michael Shane Senegal is the Precinct 3 Commissioner. He says amid talks across the country of removing Confederate monuments, he finds it important to preserve this cemetery, a place where Confederate and Union soldiers were laid to rest. After Hurricane Ike, some of the graves floated to the ground and my crew, my road and bridge crew, had to literally, literally take that those graves and put them back in the ground and put the dirt back. It's the oldest continually used cemetery in Sabine Pass. The County Historical Commission helps preserve it. When somebody has, has passed away and they've been buried, respecting the dead is part of being a decent human being. And we really have to keep in mind that good, bad, somewhere in between, uh, how we treat the people who've passed away says a lot about us more so than it says anything about them. Senegal says whether it's this monument to Confederate Commander Dick Dowling or this cemetery, which brings together Confederate and Union servicemen who fought on opposite sides, the problem isn't with historical markers. Until people um, uh, address it, you got to change people's hearts. Statue's not going to do that. Removing statue's not going to do that. In Jefferson County, Jessica Crawford, KFDM 6 News. And by the way, the Sabine Pass Cemetery is open to the public and features a marker which has facts and details on who is buried there. Also, to learn more about the Civil War, you can visit the Gulf Coast Museum over in Port Arthur. New findings.